Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm just kicking it over here in this uh, member stream. Say hi, members. Oh, wait, you can't because Stream Elements hasn't quite figured out how to get chat on screen for members streams yet. Cringe. However, we must soldier on. Uh, just know that, you know, the people are here pogging and champing. You can't see them, but they are for 100%. <laughs> Uh, we have a brand new schedule for Fire Emblem Heroes, and I just went through this, and my god, am I excited for some remixes. Uh, so let's, let's hop into that, uh, because there is a lot, there is a lot that I'm looking forward to this month, and, uh, it all starts in March, I think. Uh, so let's see what we got cooking. You know it's gonna be a banner-heavy month when they don't put them at the top. We're all aware of that, right? If you're unaware, now you now you know. All right. Uh, so let's see. We got red battle quests. We got flying strike quests, which are still ongoing for the next week, I think. Uh, Test of Lance. That's going to come up in the beginning of March. Uh, we got logins. Make sure you're logging in. I know that because of a recent poll, uh, the majority of my viewers are just daily loginers. So proud of you all. Uh, for logging in and getting your free stuff that you are owed because you earned it. Uh, anniversary is still going on through the 4th of March. Can't stop that party train. Uh, events. These guys. Right? Are these called events? Events. Yes, I was right. Tight. Alright. So. So. Binding Worlds just started today. It's ongoing. Get it done. Limit of the Hero Battles, they start tomorrow. Good luck and Godspeed. Affinity Auto Battles! I know what you're thinking. What the heck is Affinity Auto Battles? How can I explain this? Uh, do you remember that game mode that they kind of announced? And it's just this thing um, where you kind of set it and forget it. And it's about a few months old. That's Affinity Auto Battles. Very engaging stuff. Uh, <laughs> Grand Hero Revival of uh, Ludvek. All my homies say Ludvek. Okay, to be clear. Um, but, you know, if you want to do that and beat him up some, I will be doing that. Uh, that's all starting on the 13th, by the way. Okay. Uh, Forging Bonds is happening on the 18th. Yes. More story. Freaking finally, dude. Freaking finally, dude. I'm so excited for the story to continue. So far, book eight. Kind of a banger. I'm going to be honest. I, As far as the characters go, there's nothing that's drawing me uh, or compelling me. I guess, to be overly invested in them. The Squirrel Girl is, like, kind of cute, I guess, in, like, a Pokemon kind of way. But, uh... I think the story so far, Alphonse is one of hell of a Chad. So, like, I'm here for that. I'm down, I'm down to see Chad Fonz mix it up a little more. Uh, so we're gonna get some more of that along with the Forging Bonds. Uh, Grand Hero Battle. That's happening on the 19th. We got Pawns of Loki, a.k.a. TFT, Bay Edition. Uh, Summer Duels S. It's going to be really fun to see all of those uh, Devotion Leons. That'll be a good time, I'm sure. Uh, Hall of Forms is happening on the 22nd. Okay, and if you're unaware, it should be Ryoma in Hall of Forms this time around. Uh, so that'll be kind of cool, I think. I hope. <laughs> he was he was one of the very first remixes we had, I think. I'm gonna slowly pan over to my chat to see if they will confirm or deny that. I think he was early on, so I don't know how well he has aged, but. Uh, Hall of Forms is happening, and it should 
be featuring some Fates characters along with Legendary Ryoma. Okay. Uh, outside of that, we also have the Bound Hero Battle of Sed and Asbol. Okay, we got Hero's Journey. We got a Legendary Hero Battle. So new Legendary. I will be certain to try and have the Legendary uh, Banner Prediction out to you uh, about a week or ten days prior. Okay. Uh, and then we also have uh, this little thing. The Voting Gauntlet AHR 2024 Finals. That's probably not important. Uh, Tempest Trials Plus is happening on the 6th of... Of course this is important! Are you blind? This is what dictates what a banger banner is going to be uh, in like a month or so. And then on top of that, one of these are going to be free for y'all. Okay? I already did a video covering the top 8 and what the at least the, the pairings, the initial pairings for top 4 uh, could potentially look like. If you are a green dreamer... Your life may be in shambles because you have to take down three Titans. You have to take down a duo Micaiah. Sonicky is also there. You have to take down an attuned peony. I think? No, not attuned peony. She's green. Wait, who is it? Oh god, I've lost all of my memory. Anyway, uh, you have to take down Edelgard. That's who it is. You have to take down Edelgard, who's up against a peony. And then you also have to take down a Golvig. That's right. That's right. Just like William Afton in the FNAF series, she always comes back. Forever. Okay? Uh, as far as Claude versus uh, Legendary Camilla, that's, you know, that's green no matter what. So, Godspeed. Uh, so anyway, that's going to be happening. This is very important. Uh, okay, so whatever fence you you line up with, whether you don't care about greens or uh, you have a personal favorite in the top eight, they're all really good choices for the most part, right? There's not really a wrong choice there. Uh, make sure you are participating in that. And I say that as someone who actively forgets to use flags and voting all its. This is the one time of year it actually matters. <laughs> All right? So don't forget to do that. Uh, Summer Duels R, again. The R stands for really delightful. Because of all the great additions that they're bringing to Summer Duels. Uh, Bound Hero Battle Revival of Alir and Selene. Okay. Uh, Hall of Forms Revival also happening in the beginning of March. Um, and just as a reminder, this special banner that's accompanying this Tempest Trials, that is going to be spring. Uh, if you don't care about bunny banners, then just get your rewards and move along. As for the banners, jeez, why are there so many? Why are there so many? There don't need to be this many, dude. Okay. I'm gonna keep it a buck 85. If you see anything with skills as the focus, just don't pull on it. Just don't pull on it. Okay? Do not do it. If you see something that says revival, special revival, don't pull on it. It's not worth it, dude. It's not. There's three special focuses for the seventh anniversary. See what I mean? There's lots of good stuff that you can summon on instead. Unless you're me, in which case, you just do your free pull, get exactly what you want, and then you leave. Because 2024 is your year. Uh, especially revivals, all the, all of, oh god, there's so many. There's so many. This is mostly devotion reruns. Uh, we do have a Legendary Mythic Hero remix uh, that'll be starting, I think... Tomorrow? I want to say tomorrow. Uh, that should run about two weeks, so I think it starts tomorrow. Um, I don't hear a battle focus. Don't even mess with that. Uh, the new heroes banner, that's probably a thing. The anniversary banners, probably worth your time, maybe depending on what your needs are. 
Uh, the legendary banner, that's probably going to be a big one. The voting gauntlet banner that's coming in several weeks from now. That is the main thing that you want to focus on. Because no matter what, that's going to have a lot of high value in terms of like fodder, merges, uh, personal needs, universal needs, all of the above. Okay. Uh, so always be saving something back for that because you should be able to spark on it. I think. I'm not sure. I don't know if they'll lock that behind Fey Pass. If you have a Fey Pass, obviously that doesn't really matter to you. Um. But yeah, I mean, the Bunny Banner might bring some... I don't... I honestly, I don't really remember anything crazy about Spring Banner uh, in terms of meta development or just overall, like, cool mechanics or anything. So take that how you will. Um, I think the main focuses should probably be, right, uh, the current... Mythic Banner is really good, right? We also have uh, the remixes coming up. Those are going to be pretty good, okay? Uh, the Anniversary Banners, the Special Focuses, those are probably pretty good for most people. And then you're also going to have things like the Legendary Banner that's happening at the end of the month. That one is probably going to be worth your time as well uh, because there's a fair amount of reruns. That people may or may not be interested in seeing the likes of Kevisir, uh, the likes of Freyr, the likes of Goldvig, etc. Okay? So, with all that said, do you actually need to summon on any of these bears? No, probably not. So just summon for your favorites. That's what I recommend always. Okay? In a time where half of the page is just green. Because <laughs> it's just banners. Always remember to save for your favorites because you're going to enjoy the game that much more when you play it. Okay? Meta is fleeting. Favorites are forever. Say it with me, folks. Alright? Say it with me. That's my piece. I'm off my soapbox. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna get back to my live stream and uh, uh, let me know your thoughts on the current calendar. And until then, I will see you in the next one.